So you have a science degree? I do. I didn't know that. What's the I do. I had a um, BSc in physiology and psychology. Excellent. You should come and teach my lessons then. I would love to. I can to. take a break. Not that I teach math. I take a break. No, I'm no, you science. can teach my math lesson. Maybe <laughs> no, burn down my classroom. I love science. I love math too, but science my I favorite. I really love science. What are you going to teach us today? Today? we are going to learn how to prove photosynthesis so photosynthesis is used by plants to they absorb sunlight and water and um carbon, di carbon dioxide to convert them into nutrients and <laughs> they use sunlight and carbon, uh, carbon dioxide and, uh, and water and they convert them into nutrients such as glucose and oxygen I am pretty sure photosynthesis occurs on the leaf. Photosynthesis in plants occurs in the chloroplast of the leaf. So this substance in the chloroplasts is called chlorophyll and that absorbs the sunlight and helps make and gives color to the plant as well and also helps make them the food. When the like all the glucose it goes through the phlegm vessels and it spreads throughout the plants and that's how it gets to the roots to um, absorb the oxygen from the soil. Um, during photosynthesis, the water uh, splits, creating different hydrogen and oxygen atoms. And then um, the, the oxygen is released, and then the hydrogen atoms combine with carbon dioxide, creating food for the plant. The chemical formula for, for, the, for glucose is C6H12O6. And so you mean we can grow these seeds now? Yes, we can grow these seeds and all we need for a plant to grow is carbon dioxide and water and sunlight. Excellent. And cups. And well, in the and classroom dishes. we need cups, but outside we don't need the So cups. you are going to plant the seed in the cup and using cups and tissues? That's all. Yes, cups and tissues. How is that possible? Mm, okay, so... The reason we have the tissues is because the tissues retains water, okay? So that means the seed is not always drowned in the water mm -hmm. and it gets that constant feeding of the water. I will try to make them flooded by, so covered completely by water. Okay. And see if it works or not. Okay. So you make your own the, one, I'll make my own Okay, style. the one that I think will work. My work. Mine will work. Well, yours work. You're going to flood yours. I make everything works. I am going to put the cloth, or whatever you call it in English, inside the cup that it fills the lining of the cup. This goes in the middle to keep the first part in place. Okay. And the part that is in the middle here also would represent what I think the soil that plants really go into because it will stay moist and feed our plants. Then we're going to put a seed, a bean, a sprout, whatever you call it, in there. This one looks like a... What is this? Where did you get that? Big bean. Oh. <laughs> one in there. Am I going to put one of each? Yes, so you have four of them. One in there. So basically we're using this cup and we have kind of folded the paper towel in half and then rolled it up to put it inside here and then scrunch one up to put it in the middle. And then we've put seeds in on the outside here and we're going to water them over the next couple of weeks to see how it grows. My hypothesis is that Probably this biggest one will kind of logically grow bigger, biggest because it's got the largest surface area to take in the water. I think, I think this one, as it has a bigger space here, which can take in the water, the water into its cells, and as this is touching the wall, it can it can contain the water and grow big. 
what is these cups for? The okay, so we are going to test different environments. Mm -hmm. Okay, your environment is flooded. The best environment. That will be the case of probably a swamp. Oh. And the only thing that really grows in a swamp is algae. We will right? see. Oh. I'm going to leave it for a week and see Bacteria. Okay. <laughs> then this one of mine is going to be one of normal circumstances with adequate amount of water, adequate amount of light, and adequate amount of carbon dioxide. Oh. <laughs> See, so, you can already see that the water is yes, yeah. going up there. And this one is dry one, and this is the best one. That one? Best one. Uh, Trust me, it's going to work. You were contradicting it's gonna yourself. It's going to have some rose. Gonna <laughs> a rose out of a bean. <laughs> is your name Jack? No. It's gold eggs that comes I out there. I do magic. <laughs> those who know me, they know I do magic tricks. So That burns Excellent. down the school. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is done then. Okay, so... We're gonna wait. So after this, you need to check daily if they are still moist. Um, otherwise, they're gonna dry out, and then our experiment is not gonna work. And then after a few days, well, how long do you think are we gonna see sprouts? How long do you think? Uh, probably take like three, four days to start sprouting, and yeah. then after the sprouting, you'll see how fast each grows in different circumstances or environments. It's good to have science teachers in my videos, make my job much easier. <laughs> so I can just sit back, relax, just correct them when they go wrong. Yeah, I As haven't you know, taught science in ages. But plants was not my forte. It's not your, but I'm so good at science. Physiology is my forte. Excellent. Uh, so photosynthesis needed uh, sunlight, uh, sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. So the product is like it can produce oxygen and glucose. So um, when plants do aerob aerobic respiration, they use glucose and oxygen and then they give carbon dioxide and water as the waste products. No lie. So I'm going to place this in the cover. Yes. Um, this one can go in the sun still. This no, one these three need to be the same amount of sun. Okay. And so they need to well. go together. Yeah. It's been about four to five days since the seeds germinated. We have taken the uh, seeds out of the plant, out of the cup that have germinated. Now it's time to plant the seeds. Um, for the first one, we had kept, we had covered the seeds with plastic paper to allow to not allow the carbon dioxide to enter. And as four to five days pass, we check and it's still germinating because. It was enough oxygen for respiration and it causes re greenhouse effect which helped to grow. For these seeds, we put them under water so they still got water and sunlight, but no air led to it, so now it's rotten. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> for these seeds, we kept them dry, but because they were dry, they were unable to germinate and did not grow at all. We need water to break the water into the seed and activate germination. Okay. Uh, for these seeds, we kept it in the dark and it didn't have any light, but it still grew because um, germination doesn't need light to grow. Thank you very much for joining Thank us you. and doing the old work. It's a pleasure.